Samson's are meant to be a boon to the sales department. You are by far the most authentic Santa Claus we've ever found. Yes, you were so convincing with the children. They actually thought you were real. So there comes the Santa Claus. Well, I see that you're ready for work. Mrs. Shellhammer suggested that you be given the job of Santa Claus for Macy. Well, I'm very happy to accept the job, Mrs. Walker. Oh, very good. That's one less headache for this year. Santa's always been a problem. Uh, Mrs. Shellhammer, will you go over the uh, salary with under Santa? Well, that's all right, Mrs. Walker. Very well, Mr. Uh... Kringle. Yes, of course. Miss Adams, please have Mr. Uh... Kringle. Fill out an employment card. Meanwhile, Mrs. Shellhammer will orient you to our tour department. <coughs> Welcome to Macy's, Mr. Kringle. Our Santa outfit has never looked better. Well, thank you very much. And here's a list of the toys that are to be Now, if a child wants a lid or wants something on this list that we don't carry, then you are to find another item for them. Is that clear? Yes, I, I understand, but why not give the children what they want? Oh, well, yes, of course. <laughs> That's our motto. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh Right here, 
out, Santa. I'm afraid my little friend there doesn't believe in Santa Claus. If you can get a Christmas wish from her, I'll arrange it to have it under the tree by Christmas morning. Well, come here, please, will you, young lady? I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Now, what is your name? Susan Walker. And what do you want for Christmas, Susan Walker? Whatever I want, my mother will get me. Right, of course, it isn't too expensive. Oh! Too long my mother employed this year to play the part of Santa Claus. She says you are a little better than most. Anyway, your beer looks real. Oh, it is real. Go ahead, pull it. Oh! Susan. Hello, Mother. Susan, please come here. I want you to wait over here. I need to have a conversation with Mr. Gailey. Uh, I can explain everything, Mr. Gailey, would you please step into my office? Oh, here we are. Here. My goodness, why are you crying? She's from an orphanage in Holland. She doesn't speak any English. In fact, she has a set of words and she arrived four days ago. We're very concerned. She seems to be frightened of everyone. Ah, and what is your name? No one cries. Marika. Marika, broom, yeah, say so. Oh, Dane, freedom say so hard. Gain house a saint. Yeah. We've got more nicer, more there. <coughs> Don't say, Spin and Anissa. The more dead and nice. Think this more nicer. Where is my anybody with that one cousin? No. Gone vain, being saying, Saint Nicholas. Uh, fair say? Kanye fair say singing? Da 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 da. Donye fair say Solomon singing? Sing the Costa Lucha. Sing the Lima Lucha. Sing the Lima Lucha. Dunk a singer. Fred, whether you agree with me or not, I must insist that you respect my wishes regarding my child. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doris, but I can't see that any harm was done. Mother, did you see that? That Santa Claus did the most wonderful thing. <coughs> Mr. Crudo, would you please come here? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Susan, Santa is just an employer of the store, like the doorman or the elevator man or anyone else. Yes, Mother, but when he started speaking Dutch, that little girl. Susan, I speak French, but that doesn't make me Joan of Arc. Mother, you should be the Hello, Susan Walker. You, you wanted to see me, Mrs. Walker? Yes. You're an employee of the store, aren't you? Oh, yes. And you're not Santa Claus, of course, because there really is no such person. Well, I'm sorry to contradict you, Mrs. Walker, but uh, there certainly is, and here I stand to prove it. No, 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 you don't understand. I want you to be perfectly honest in front of the child. Oh, I am being perfectly honest. Miss Adams, will you please bring our new Santa's employment card? What is your name? Uh, Chris Kringle. No, I mean your real name. Miss Adams, will you please read from the card? <coughs> the employee name. Last name, Kringle. First name, Chris. <laughs> Age, as old as my tongue and a little bit older than my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, thank you, Mr. <laughs> that will be all. Is there anything more I can tell you, Mrs. Walker? No, 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 thank you. Uh, Fred, yes. would you mind taking Susan home? No, no. Anything more? Mr. Kringle, I am sorry, but I must relieve you immediately of your responsibilities. I have to look out for the welfare of the children that you come into contact with, and I cannot take the chance that, now I want no trouble, Miss Adams, I will authorize two weeks seventh grade. Is that acceptable? Miss Walker, come quickly. Mr. Mason wants to see us both in his office. What do you suppose he wants? I don't know, but he seems quite determined. Oh, Please hurry. No, he's probably heard about Mr. Mr. Grendel. <laughs> Please wait here. Mr. Batchel will prepare a voucher for 